Hello to any and all movie nerds and fans out there, and in particular, horror film fans. Welcome to Film Obsessed, where today we are going to be talking about how the upcoming horror film Long Legs has given us arguably the best horror trailers in years. Another trailer released just the other day in anticipation for its release on July 12th this week. And at this point, I am convinced that this movie has perfected its marketing campaign. This is a movie I have been interested in for a long time time ever since I saw that first trailer for it, and as a marketing guy myself, I just wanted to talk about it today with it coming out so soon. If you have enjoyed the trailers, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so we can build this film community that I'm trying to start on this new channel rebrand of mine. Without further ado, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, and let's jump right into the video. So like I said, this movie has done an incredible job with its trailers, but overall, I would say it has done an even better job just with its marketing campaign in general. The people over at Neon Studios, who are the ones distributing the film, and then whatever other third party they use to help create the trailers, and even the posters, have done a magnificent job. This is the kind of stuff that you want to see out of a marketing campaign for a film, at least with regards to horror movies. They really did a good job to hone in on the kind of movie that Long Legs is, and when you put that within the marketing, people are going to see that and are going to have more emotions to it. The posters speak a story that the poster is normally supposed to do, and then when you have the trailers here, which are the biggest topic of conversation in this video, I feel like they give people just enough to be terrified, but also an experience that some people are going to be ready to have in a movie theater seeing it for the first time. There have been times in the last however many years where horror trailers and marketing for the movies don't necessarily get it right a whole lot. They either show way too much or create a false sense of what an audience member could see happen in a film. It is a gimmick that I think has lost its luster but in my opinion could easily be utilized in a much more effective way if trailers weren't again just throwing it in there for the sake of it. I feel like nowadays it is much more effective if a trailer for a horror movie is able to set the atmosphere, display horrifying imagery, and set a good tone. With long legs, when you look at the posters and the trailers, you see tone great imagery, and you see atmosphere. They want you to feel eerie when watching them, which is how I imagine the film itself is also going to feel like. Long Legs is another serial killer mystery horror thriller film in the long line of the many of those kinds of movies that we have gotten over the course of the history of film, so there's nothing too original with that concept of its genre. However, if you can execute a good story that is so uniquely different in itself that will make an audience member want to see it, then that's what you have with a film like Long Legs. According to the synopsis of the film, the idea is that you are following an FBI agent who is investigating the murders of this serial killer. However, within this mystery, as more details get uncovered, there is a personal link to the FBI agent girl that we follow that makes it even more tense for her to prevent a murder within her own family with how it connects to the serial killer. The serial killer might I add, who is being played by the great Nicolas Cage. He is having a bit of a resurgence and renaissance within the film industry right now, and I'm happy to see that because I think someone like him can play a role like this extremely well. He is a very good actor. He sounds absolutely menacing when you hear him speak, which is a good way to tie this conversation back to the trailers. In some of the trailers, they gave him lines of dialogue to speak, and Cage is absolutely killing it, no pun intended, with how he delivers those lines. They don't give anything way about his serial killer, but when you couple his line delivery with some of the great and scary imagery that they show, it makes it so much more better and appealing. It almost gives off the vibes of a movie like Zodiac for me. In that movie, there is a lot of line delivery from the Zodiac killer himself, and it makes it more scary. I also don't want to shy away from giving massive credit to the main girl who we follow in the movie, played by Malia Monroe. Her acting in the trailers is very good, and she, as the protagonist we follow, is doing a great job to bring us the audience into the movie. I think the people who made these trailers did a good job to pick the right moments as well to show her character off. At the end of the day, the main point of this entire video and commentary that I'm having right now is that not only do I believe that the people who did the trailers for this movie should do every single other horror movie trailer, but also also, the rest of the industry should be taking notes about what to do here when marketing their horror films. Obviously, I'm being a bit sarcastic with that first point because they can't do every trailer, but I do hope that there are people out there who do work in making trailers right now that take notes and any and upcoming marketers like myself learn from this. A trailer is your most important part of the digital marketing campaign when promoting your film, and so if you don't get it right, it's going to turn people off. When you look at the views of these trailers and the comment sections of these trailers, 
you see people have been turned on a whole lot and are very interested in what they see with this movie. It is all about creating the vibe and setting the tone of what an audience member should expect, and I think that Long Legs did an amazing job in helping to create not just some of the best horror trailers in years, but also one of the best marketing campaigns for a horror movie as of recent. With that all being said, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow film nerds, that is where this video is going to end. Again, I'm very excited for this film, and I can't wait to see it when it comes out this week. And funny enough, I am going to be going on vacation right after it comes out, so hopefully I am able to catch it the day before I leave. What other horror movies recently have you seen that have given great trailers and a marketing campaign that you would compare this one to? Let me know. Leave your comments down below about what you thought about this video and my commentary on it. If you want to see more moving forward from me on this channel with regards to film, and you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you are new here, and turn on that notification bell to be updated for when I upload again. So yeah, that's a wrap folks. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day, and I will see you all soon for the next video.